Hello and welcome to a quick run through of um, the view pager indicator which I've ported from the Android view pager indicator originally made by Jake Wharton. And uh, you might ask, didn't uh, Xamarin port this uh, view already? And yes, they did. However, um, the latest version in their sample repository isn't up to date, so you can't change background and there are some minor issues which uh, haven't been resolved so uh, it's not yeah it, it's a bit buggy but um, it works however my version is up to date and has fixed these issues so feel free to use and fork it and, and do whatever you want with it I'll just show you in this video uh, what what the possibilities with the, the view pager indicator uh, are and uh, what's available uh, in it. So if we look at this library project, you can see there's a circle page indicator which shows cir circles uh, in the bottom of the view. And there's a, an icon page indicator which shows icons in the bottom of the view. And there's a line page indicator which indicates uh, how many pages there are. Uh, at the bottom of the uh, the screen uh, where one of the lines is uh, highlighted with a color for instance and then there's uh, the tab page indicator which uh, roughly looks like tabs uh, the new ice cream sandwich tabs and then there's title page indicator which uh, is something similar to tab page indicator but has a different look and feel and lastly, there's uh, an underlying page indicator, which shows a line, and when you swipe, it moves a bit and fades out, and uh, lots of cool effects there. So uh, let's just fire up the sample here. It's set up uh, as a start project, and I have started an emulator. So let's see how that looks. There's a lot of samples showing different things, uh, such as how to style it through the layout file or through themes or through um, properties when you instantiate a view or find a view through uh, from from a layout file so in the sample you have uh, you have all all these uh, yeah possibilities shown to you so you just you can just use them in your application so let's just uh, see how the, uh, the circles look um, so the default start of this looks looks like this there's some circles in the bottom and you can press on either side to switch through the view pager or you can of course just use the view pager as usual and if you go back uh, there's also a snap um, visual indication built in so if you look at the uh, circles at the bottom, when I scroll now, it kind of overshoots and snaps back. And that's practically what snap does. And then you can style these circles so you can choose uh, the radius, the fill, uh, the color of the fill and the color of the stroke and the width of the stroke and the color of the fill and stroke when it's selected so this is how that looks and you can style that through either the layout or properties or uh, a theme it looks uh, you can get it to look look the same um, and then there's also an icon indicator, uh, which you can see here. So you present some icons at the bottom of the screen instead of circles. And then the selected one is uh, indicated by a color, which you can change yourself. And then there's lines, which are lines at the bottom of the screen, just like the circles. Uh, yeah that looks like that and these can also be styled to look like you want them to and then there's tabs which are shown at the top 
which tries to mimic the the tabs of ice cream sandwich and that's how these look like and of course you can still use the the swipe gesture of the view page indicator and these can of course also be styled to look like what you want uh, and also with icons so that's how that look like if we go back we also have titles which is uh, something very similar to the tabs uh, and you can have them either on the bottom of the screen or on the top and this is how that looks like and you can switch by uh, clicking either of the side or you, you can all, you, there's also an event if you press the center one that's yeah you can see that here if you press the center one you can hook up to an event um, and these can of course also be styled so Let's see how that looks. So you can change the color of uh, of the background and the indicator, but you you can also change the indicator to be a triangle instead. Um, and lastly, we have underlines which are lines that go around the bottom of the screen if you look carefully there's a blue line at the bottom of the sim uh, emulator screen and uh, when i stop dragging the view it stops and fades out and you can of course control how l how long it should uh, take before it fades out and which color the that line is um, you can also control it so it doesn't fade at all. And yeah, that's practically it. So uh, this project is on GitHub and I will put a link in the description below to the port and the original implementation by Jake Wharton if you're using uh, Java for Android. Um, yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching and see you around the community.